spike in RSV cases in children has hospitals in our area and across the country sounding the alarm. CBS News John Diaz joins us live from the Cohen Children's Medical Center in Queens where they are seeing a rapid rise in infections. John, what's driving these numbers? Chris and Mary, good morning to both of you. Well, some doctors telling us that what's possibly driving it is lack of antibodies, uh, possibly due to the COVID pandemic. But unlike COVID and the flu, at this time, there is no vaccine for RSV, which, of course, is also adding to these worries. Babies were not out. We, we, were, yes. we were, you know, distancing, wearing masks and the rest. There was probably no buildup of antibodies. While COVID precautions were necessary, the chair of pediatrics for the Cohen Children's Medical Center at Northwell Health says he believes that's why his hospital and others are seeing a rapid rise in RSV cases among children and babies. It's uh, really been an issue in the hospital itself. Typically, the hospital sees 200 admissions a day, but in the last few weeks, the chair of pediatrics says it's grown by almost 50% to a about 300 a day, so they've added more than 75 pediatric beds to make up for the demand. Over these last few weeks, we opened uh, a unit actually over in the adult hospital, which is next door. Some doctors say hospitals are reaching a breaking point, and lack of staff is also compounding the issue. Things are getting tight. Critical shortages of nurses and physicians around the country who are specialists in pediatric emergency medicine really challenge our ability to respond to this event. Some doctors are calling it a triple demic, since symptoms are similar to COVID and the flu, and those cases are also on the rise. That's why Sunday, U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer called on the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services to be at the ready to send additional medical staff from other states, provide additional breathing equipment if needed, and help medical providers expand the use of telehealth. And if any hospital in New York says, we're short of doctors, we're short of nurses, we're short of respirators, we're short of beds, that they can come and supply those things immediately. And many doctors tell us that testing is a key and, you know, not all cases, not all kids who develop RSV will need to be hospitalized. That's really only for the severe cases. We're live this morning from Glen Oaks, Queens. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Okay, John, thank you. Well,